Hello, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We are continuing where we left off in the last video. We are now on episode five. And without further ado, let us begin. All right. Let's exit photo mode. Let's go here. All right. So we are doing this mission uh, quest, the embassy. So let's get in here and do it. I don't think we can take our to get off this thing and mount run. here. There we are. All right. I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. Oh, there's somebody over here. Ah, savior. <laughs> Tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Barren Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy... <sighs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later, then. Uh, if you could get those blasted gates open. <laughs> I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. All right. She cleared out those machines. She's all right by me. Let's go ahead and we need. There is a workbench over here. Let's go to that. Excellent. So we have three weapon upgrades. Looks like this can be upgraded finally. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. Upgrade it again. And upgrade it again. Nice. Then let's go into this one, our hunter bow. Let's do that upgrade. Nice. Then let's go into this and upgrade that. Nice. So all of our weapons so far are fully upgraded. They're all uncommon, but Fully upgraded. That's nice. We have an outfit upgrade. So we can upgrade fully here. Nice. That's nice. Wait, let's go back into that. Okay, there's nothing extra. Uh, pouch upgrades. We can do two of these. Our tripwire pouch and our trap pouch. Definitely traps three to six. Definitely want to upgrade that. That's been upgraded. And this goes from four to six. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We need a... Uh, 
boar bone and rabbit hide on this one. We need fox hide for that. Rabbit hide. Horn lizard bone and a goose feather. Okay. So we got some work to do. We can still do trap crafting. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and craft these up. All right, that's our workbench. A weave slot has been unlocked for one of your outfits. Weaves can be equipped on outfits to improve their abilities. Each outfit comes pre-equipped with a weave that must be unlocked through upgrades. Tap R when weaving or when viewing an outfit in your inventory to modify its weaves. Nice. Cool. So we should be able to now go here, tap R to view our weaves, empty slot. We have fire defense, acid defense, melee defense. Right now we're using this concentration. So let's go, let's go melee defense for now. Okay. And let's switch to our weapons. We should be able to now in here, knock down damage, increases damage against knockdown enemies. Increases the ability to stagger and knock down Enemies with an impact of or explosive damage increases tear. Let's go with that. Spike thrower. This is our frost. We don't really have anything for that. For that. Do that. Okay. Well, we are still on our embassy mission, so. Go there. Let's go over here and let's see, what can we sell? Anything? don't really have anything, do we? Valuables to sell. Let's, uh, sell all that. Go ahead and sell all that. Slicing Shredder Gauntlet. A Karja weapon that uses tear ammo to slice enemies. Hold the weapon drawn before firing to tear into enemies longer. Each catch charges the shredder and increases its damage okay we can't really buy it but a pleasure trading with a true machine hunter we've got unknown machine strike up there we've got 
a campfire up here. Let's go ahead and come up to the campfire and save. Excellent. There's food. We can make some of this. Oh, not enough room in my food pouch. Okay. Come on then. There's our machine no strike. Game of strike. We could play this real quick. Uh, we did say in the last video that we would play around, teach it. So I'm going to turn my camera off. So this is <clears throat> our machine strike game. Let's go ahead and do this. We have our set here. You must use at least seven setup points to play this set in a game. Okay, so we can create a new set where we need 10 setup points. So we have our burrower, we have our grazer, we have our scrapper, we have our lance horn and our fing horn. So let's view our opponent's set, which they have two grazers, one charger, two lance horns, and one long leg. We don't have any long legs, but we do have a lance horn. Uh, we have grazers and we don't really have any chargers either, I don't think. But we have Fanghorn. So we're going to grab one of these. We're going to grab two grazers. Two lance horns. And then maybe one of these and that puts us up at our cost. So let's go ahead and hit exit. Would you like to save changes? Yes. And we'll use this set and start and confirm. Time to get started. So Basically, all we're going to do here, let me turn my camera back on. There we go. All we're going to do here is just try to put these on our board. The higher up, the better. So we'll put our scrapper here. We'll put our grazer here. We'll put this grazer right there, 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 and there. Okay. I can do this. Interesting. Your time to shine, friend. Um. So here we move, we can rotate. Uh, oh. Can't really, oh, that took me to the glossary. Looks like I can only attack ahead of me, so I definitely picked the wrong one to move. Let's just move there. That's only going to do one damage. So we'll move you there.
and we'll end the turn. That's my cue. Minus three, minus five. Let's go ahead and go there. Machine down. Then. Let's grab this. Minus two. Minus one. Overcharge and just do two more. Off the board you go, buddy. And the end the turn. My turn. Okay. Probably shouldn't have picked this guy. Should I overcharge you and go? Two minus one, I would sacrifice myself essentially. Time for me to step up. What'll it be? Let's get that piece out of there. Sacrifice that to take that on, maybe? Nope. Won't work. And there it goes. One down. Okay. Let's end our turn. It's all you. I see how it is. Well, looks like my strategy backfired. Hmm. Gotta think this through. One down. I'm done. Off the board you go, buddy. Okay. And that's it. You win. There we go. We won. Okay. Let's play again sometime.
That was fun. Whoa! I've got boards ready to go if anyone wants to play some strike. Let's get on with our mission. Looks like we got somebody to talk to inside there. Okay. Armor over here. Coils and weaves. Yeah, nothing to sell. I await your return. Okay. But remember, the patent is mine. You're back. Let's go inside. There's Errand. That looks like he's had a few. Let's talk to Errand. Gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. Okay. How have you been? How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. Ursa? I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. She would have put them all under the table. And the embassy? What do you know about the embassy? I know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. And barren light. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. All right, time to go. I, um, I better get going. Oh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world, that's... That sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. <laughs> Be careful out there, Aloy. All right. We've got somebody up there. Or we can go here. And there's something right there. Yo, Scrounger! I don't envy you. Trying to sweep up Tanakh? 
Oh, it's a grapple point. <laughs> no one is allowed past this point. Commander knows our orders. Oh, All right. Got some valuables there. Savior. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse. They're here in the Daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word. Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Okay, start from the Tell beginning. Me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakhs take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different jumpy so when i spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours i followed i found him arguing with a stranger and when larovic mentioned the eclipse I, I tried getting closer but they hurt me the stranger took off and larovic lunged at me with his knife instincts took over sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body And nobody believes you? Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods. Searched Larovic's bunk. Searched it again. Didn't find anything. Look. Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it. Right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well... We can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. All right. Did you hear anything else? The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched it, Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. All right, new side quest. Well, let's get on with our mission. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone between- Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. 
Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. About the embassy? So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Okay, Tanakh Marshals? You said something about Tanakh Marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where's Nozar? Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. All right, let's go. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change great nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just Goodness. helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. All right, let's get up here. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Thank you. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, I'm going now. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Someone approaching! On a machine! Oh. Got 
got a little spotty there. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's orders, happening? Orders. I, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut? in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Pearl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. <laughs> so this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. Oh. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to him. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. All right. A fearless red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the army of the setting sun. You're Fashav. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But... Such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see, tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. 
Tattoos? I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink as decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. You and the Tanakh? How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Tell me. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate, and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Hikaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. Desperate measures? So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hikaru's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hikaru stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. The cool route? You said the cool route is a Tanakh trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me. It is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hoped for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. Service to the chief? You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So which tribe are you? So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes, always. But there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace, and now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. 
The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. <laughs> the Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The Karja need to know what I have learned. Yeah. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. And going home? Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change. Even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. All right, rite of passage. Passage. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this. To serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important. And it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Ah, uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Karja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. The Karja have opened the gates.
As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such a... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaro has betrayed us! The embassy is proof! And all of you marshals are his accomplices! For this, I condemn you to death! You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us, exile! A raptor? Okay. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav, come with us now, or oh, not at all. Archers, light them up. Well. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Stick to cover! Here we go. Here they come! They're on to us. Oh, 
machines can't protect them. In somewhere. Oof. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Oh, can I not go out there? Get up, get up, get up. Goodness gracious. Your 
one next, girl. Not if I can help it. Better scan it. Ooh, run. Enough. Oof. Uh. Okay. How are we going to do that? You're not stopping me. Uh. Only a real challenge. Oof. Get up. Get up. I've got to break that shield. Not my chance. All right. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. Goodness gracious. Give it up. Shield gone. He's vulnerable. Oof, run, 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 run. Still in this fight. You're not stopping me. One more hit. There we go. Your turn. Come down here and face me. No. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades. Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Hikaru. Yeah! Move out! Without me, aren't you? You know what? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. 
for now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. Still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Well, <laughs> questions about the West? Holy cow, we have a ton here. Let's just say time to go. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay. We're now level 10. Max health is increased. We got a couple skill points. The shield wing is an energy based glider repurposed from machine technology. Hold spacebar while in the air to deploy the guide or glide. Tap left control to stop gliding. Very good. Completed the main quest embassy. So, and there's a fox right there. This is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. 
The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe... The backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, recalls machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. That's right. Well, everyone. The woman who led the ambush, Regala, had a lot of machines under her command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. But what's his angle? Why help to knock the rebels? Is she done? <laughs> All right. Well, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.